Wednesday, Friday and Saturday this week are Ember Days. And amongst many Christians, it is a custom to observe Ember Days, a cluster of four sets of three days in the calendar year, roughly around the start of the four seasons. They set aside, are set aside by the church as a way to mark the passage of the seasons through prayer and fasting, and also through uh, to look very carefully at the whole idea of ordination. And traditionally, ordinations took place on the Saturday of Ember Week. The spring... Um, Ember Week, Ember Day, um, are quite simple really because they are the Wednesday, Friday and Saturday um, after Ash Wednesday to give thanks for the rebirth of nature and the gift of light. Usually flowers are offered at this time. In the summer, the Wednesday, Friday and Saturday after Pentecost to give light, to give thanks for all, all that has happened within nature and particularly for the harvest. In September, it is to bring about the thanksgiving for the harvest and also to remember the fact that we have had the opportunity to have lots of time for prayer um, and relaxation. And in, this, in, the, uh, in, in Advent, this, these three days coming up to the third Sunday um, of Advent, it is in order to remember that we are thinking about the um, the fact that Jesus lay in his tomb. So we observe Wednesday because that was the day he was betrayed. Friday because that was the day that he was crucified. And Saturday because that was the day that he was entombed. And so we, we give thanks for at this time for ordination and for all those who are preparing for ordination. We give thanks for the world in which we live, particularly as these ember days mark part of our time of remembering creation. And we think, as we think particularly of the, um, of the government's new view about a green economy. And we pray particularly for all those who are involved in working towards that, uh, towards that aim. So Father, we give you thanks for the earth. We give you thanks for the beauty of creation. We thank you, Lord, for all that you have given us. And we ask your forgiveness for what we have done to abuse your creation. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.